Today we're going to continue our journey in Midgar or in Minecraft. Um, we're just going to simply start off where we left off, which is uh, at the, Sh the Shinra building. And the thing is that the last episode we made, I kind of found something that I wanted to share with you guys. Because, I'm just going to turn this down a little bit. Is it better? Not as much echo, is it? Um, <clears throat> As I said the last time, I was a little bit of a part of this project when it came out because I made some of the interiors in the Shinra building and uh, I actually had an office here and that office is right here. Just take a look at this. It's all there. This was my office. I can't believe it's still there. It made it to the final version. Commander Heidegger, head of public safety. Look at this it's been so long it has been so long since i seen this office <sighs> right let's uh let's 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 uh, walk around a little bit in, in the shinra building just to you know take in the atmosphere breathing in the ambience oh we got the stairs here yes you can actually take the stairs anywhere you go in the building. Um, where do I get out of here? Here we are, look at this. Maybe you recognize this floor from the game. Okay, got the Overlook Dome there. We're not going there, we're going down. Are we going down? No, we're going up. Oh, I can't, can't go in. Oh, here we go. Look at this. So many floors, so much to explore. We got the gym over here. We got the we got the soldiers' restroom over there. What's this? Oh, I got the bathroom. Nothing interesting about that. Ah, oh, the map room. If anyone uh, anyone played Final Fantasy VII, you'll know what I'm talking about. This is the map room of of Midgar. So you know, it's all here. It's all here. So friggin' awesome. Yeah. Okay. Let's go outside. All right, you guys. We are back on track. We are at the bottom, at the main entrance of the Shinra building. Look at this beauty. It's all in place. The stairs, the stories up there, the car. It's all here. So, let's make our way outside. Look at this beauty. Oh my lord. So, uh, I think we should go down to the slums and have a look at the Avalanche headquarters and Ares house and the church and all that stuff. Tag along. Alright, we are officially in the slums, beneath the plates of Midgar. Can you, like, understand how massive this map is? This is fucked up. This is one plate we are under. And as I said, Minecraft, I mean Midgar, is like a giant rusty pizza. And underneath Midgar is basically the slums, where the lower class people or whatever live. Also, it is the headquarters of Avalanche in one of the sectors. So, we're gonna see if you recognize yourselves here, because I definitely do. If you just take a moment to look at this, because... Look at this. This is where... The, yeah. This is where Sack sits. Affected by the, make, by the Mako energy. We got some shops over here, so this is basically a square with some stores and stuff like that. You got this RV here, or which is actually a weapon shop. <laughs> wow. You can buy some armor in here, stuff like that. This is so cool. So friggin' awesome. Oh, is that what I think it is? Yes, it is. Hey, 
what do we have here? Oh, is this is this the house of Ares? Oh, I do believe it is. I do believe we are inside Ares's house. The creaking stairs, right up here, should be some bedrooms. Oh yes, it is. Look at this. This is so freaking cool. I mean, they put so much heart into making this. I love it. Okay, it's empty. <laughs> Wow. What is this? Oh, it's a balcony. That means, yeah. And here's her garden with all the flowers and stuff like that. It's all in place. I love it. She's she's like the only household in the entire city of Midgar that still has flowers. Because flowers basically can't grow in Midgar anymore. So she's she's making them here. Um <laughs> wow. Ah, this map doesn't stop amaze me. Oh, what is this? Is that... Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. I think we found the market. Um, <laughs> at a point in the game, you, you enter the uh, market village you have to get a dress because you have to dress up like a girl in order to get into Don Corneo's mansion. He's the perv in the game. Uh, you have to infiltrate his, his mansion to rescue your friend from Avalanche. Her name is Tifa. And you bring Ares with you. Yeah, look at this. This is the broken item shop, item machine. If we go over here, we should come to the Honeybee Inn. I'm pretty sure it's this way. Or am I incorrect? No, it should be this. Honeybee in. Look at that. <laughs> oh shit. Wow. Oh, we got some potions over here. Oh, this is the inn. All right, you can actually buy yourself a room here, I guess. This should be a diner, yes. Yeah, I know you can order. Uh, I think you can order sushi and you can order something else. I'm not sure what it is. And then the uh, the chef in the game asks you if it tasted okay. This, what's this? This should be, uh, okay, this looks like another bar. And got a weapon shop over here. Yep, I recognize that one. It's, oh, wait a second, is this, this isn't, yes it is! We are in Don Corneo's mansion, people. Fucking Christ, look at this shit. Oh my lord. Okay, let's go up the stairs here. Yeah. It's all here. Oh, okay, I'm a little bit confused there. There we go. This should be uh, Don Cornelius' room. Yep, totally is his office. And his bedroom should be in here. It's, uh, yeah, he's, he's quite a perv. And the master bed. Wow, we even got the, uh, the trap door here. I wonder if that trapdoor actually leads down to the sewers, like it does in the game. We're gonna check that out soon. I'm just gonna have to look at the basement here first, because it should be here. Yep. This. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's here. Even the fireplace is here. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. All right, you guys, I'm gonna make our way down to the uh, sewers. I'm just gonna have to, you know, I'm just exploring right now. I just need to see if it is as, it's, ooh, as it is in the game. Where does this lead us? It should lead us to, well, basically just, you know, th through the sewers. <clears throat> All right. Where are we now? Are you fucking with me? Are you fucking with me right now? Okay, for you guys who played Final Fantasy 7, I'm pretty sure you are as amazed as me right now. <laughs> you know, making it possible, you know, building it like this, 
it's so authentic. It's like exactly the way it's supposed to be. Um, for you other guys who haven't played Final Fantasy VII yet, all I can say is you really should, even though it's a really old game. It is the best Final Fantasy game of all time, and I'm pretty sure that you'll like it. Okay, let's let's. <clears throat> you, I know. I remember you meet a boss down here, um, like a water animal with horns. Almost looks like a dinosaur, but it's it's not. Um, then you make your way out of here. Oh no, where's the exit? There's no exit? Oh please, come on. Are you kidding me? Oh, there it is. Yeah, thank god. Going through here, going up here, and we should be coming out... <laughs> yeah. At the train graveyard. Alright, you guys, this is so cool. Okay, we are at the slums train station um, of the same sector that the Avalanche headquarters is. I believe you recognize this, you really should. We're gonna make our way from, from the train station right into the Avalanche's headquarters. Um, it should be about over here. <laughs> Uh, should be to the right. No. Yeah. There. Look at that. That's the pillar. That's what uh, one of the pillars holding up um, one of the plates of Midgar. Uh, one of the pillars that gets blown up later in the game, and the Shinra, who is behind it, blames Avalanche, just trying to get rid of them. You know, all the, the plate comes falling down on all the people. Hey. <laughs> And here we are, oh, here we are, here we are. This is Avalanche's headquarters. This is Tifa's, Tifa's bar. Um, this is where we all hang out, you know. Having all the drinks on here, Tifa making her drinks here, Marlene coming over here, Jesse, Biggs, Wedge, Barrett. And we should have the briefing room down here. And we do. <laughs> Look at this, the television, the boxing bag, Barrett punching Wedge in the face, or Biggs, yeah it's Biggs, like flying up on the wall there, wow. Alright you guys, I'm gonna have to show you uh, this as well, not the reactor, but we are at reactor 5, which means, which should mean that underneath us, in the slums, should be the church that you fall down through the roof after blowing up the reactor you hang up on the ledge here you meet the boss and then you basically fall down you fall straight through the roof <clears throat> boom and land on Ares's bed of flowers <laughs> this is so cool it's so beautiful shit look at this I mean, what? What the? What the? What the fuck? What the fuck? Ah! Shit! It's all here. It's all. Oh shit! Oops. Sorry, that was a little dark. Yes. Then you walk up here and push down all the barrels, barrels on the soldiers that are trying to chase you through the church. So. Friggin' amazing! Alright, let's take a little bit of a look at one of the pillars here, because it's really well done. We just gotta see that as well. <laughs> I mean, look at this. You make your way up, and here you meet Reno of the Turks. Just when he's about to blow up the pillar. It's all here, you guys. It's all here, and uh... Before we end this video, there is one more thing that I seriously need you to see, because it is really cool, alright? Alright, what we want to do here is we got, we're going to make our way to the train station, or one of the train stations, and I'm going to show you something really dope. We are at the Sector 8 station. 
we will grab ourselves a mine cart. See this? This is so freaking awesome. As some of you may not know, since Midgar is built up as a giant pizza city, it has a giant middle pillar holding it all up. Around this pillar is where the trains go to all the other sectors and down to the slums. And this is actually a working rail system and I'm gonna show you that now. Let's take a ride. How cool is this? Oh shit, that was... Alright, wow, okay. I'm... Yeah, I'm sorry. We were supposed to go a little bit further. So I'm probably just gonna jump off of this train and just gonna continue from here. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Yes! and Vulgaran Thor to put all the rails in place and making them work, connecting them to each other correctly to end up in the correct place. I mean, holy crap on a stick. I mean, this, <laughs> this is just... Wow. Okay, we, we want to make our way here, maybe. As you can see on the map, uh, on the right top corner, we're going around, like in a circle. And you can get to all the train stations from here. And we're at the central station. So, if you want to play this map, it is pretty easily to do so. All you gotta do is download the Technic Launcher, which is basically a Minecraft launcher. It's totally free, and in the Technic Launcher, you download a mod pack called Midgar Explorer. You install it in the launcher, you, so it, it's, it's nothing hard to do at all, and in that, you will get the map automatically. You can only play this map with a Midgar Explorer because it is heavily modified. So all the mods, have, they have to be there in order for this to work. Okay, let's get off here. We need to wrap this up. But, okay, let's just have a last little overview look here. Oh, so much to render. So, it's not that easy, but you know. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like because that really helps me very very much it helps me more than you could possibly imagine because for every like that i get the video gets highly rated and shown more often to people with similar interests and it also gives a chance for me to evaluate the videos that i'm making do my viewers like them or do they not like them also if you're not already subscribing please do so and if you do, don't forget to hit the bell button in the top right corner. That way you'll get notified as soon as I post a new video. So until then, and until next time, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.